Welcome to Trading Box Technical Analysis Indicator. In this video I will explain and demonstrate all the functions of this Technical Analysis Indicator and right now I have this official website and here under the Trading Tools I have this Technical Analysis Tool web page. So this is it. I will now scroll down to show you what I will cover today. So all the functions of technical analysis indicator from 1 to 23 to here. I will show each function, how to use it on the chart and explain a little bit. So now let's begin with first point, extended rectangles and trend lines. Ok, let's go to the chart and I will select this rectangle tool, draw one rectangle here into my supply level and click this button here to extend a rectangle. So this is now extended rectangle. I also will show for the trend line. Let's say that I draw here some trend line from this point and I extend it to here. What I can see here for the rectangle, I can see the size of the rectangle in pips. I can see the name of the rectangle and the prices. Here in the bracket is how many is a pip distance from the current price. Also for the trend line it is similar, so the price, the pip distance in the bracket and the name of trend line. When I select one object, trend line or rectangle, it shows me all the functions that are available. I will cover them in the next points. Let's go now to the second point, which is price touch alert. So it is for the trend line and rectangles. So I click here alert and this bell sign is displayed. Also for the trend line I can click alert and also alert is activated. So now when the price will touch trend line or rectangle I will receive alert. I can demonstrate to move this down to the price and this is the alert that will be pop up and also I have here options to send a mobile push notification or email. So here is mobile push notification to my mobile app or email to my email. And this is that setting. So now alert is enabled. Let's go now to the third point, engulf alert, so broken zone of the rectangle. If I go here and click engulf, now this is engulf alert. The alert will be triggered when the price will go through the rectangle and break this zone. The fourth it is candle close alert. So let's see. If I click here close, when the candle will be closed above this rectangle I will receive alert. Or for the trend line, if I move this trend line a little bit more down to here. And if I click here close, so when the price will go below this trend line and the candle will close below. I will receive alert. For the breakout retest alert I will go here to details and uh, check this image. So like it is written right here we have trend line and when the candle will close above the trend line and price will go back down to touch it we will have this retest alert to get a notification for this. Next is sound repeat alert, after this engulf alert, close alert, ok. So sound repeat alert means if we click this R for repeat. Also maybe here, R for repeat and if I can show you, let's now trigger these alerts. So you can hear in the background the alert is beeping and there are some settings for this. 
here are the wave files that I can change and interval in seconds. So how often the alert will sync. Okay, now let's just disable this sound repeat alert and continue with this risk reward ratio indicator. So let's now say for this rectangle right here, I enable cell risk reward and now if I move to down I see the risk report. So the ratio between the size of rectangle and distance from here to here. This is the risk reward ratio indicator. I will just now disable these functions to have more clear picture. Okay, let's go back. Now it is this color change buttons. So if I click one of these buttons here, the color of rectangle or color of trend line, you can see it can be changed. Also these buttons here, they are for the width of the lines. So here I have filled, so that means that rectangle will be filled with the color, but here empty, so it will be empty. Let's say I click here the blue color and the line 3 and this is the result. If I don't have selected any object and if I click this one, it creates me a rectangle. So also here I have button for trend, so it creates me a trend line and horizontal line also. For all these buttons there are also setting in the indicator list. So here I can change the colors of field buttons and empty buttons and also the color of trends, so these two buttons here, styles, colors and width. Everything can be customized. Let's now continue with the text button, so object name, text position. If I, uh, let's say, create one rectangle and place it maybe here, for the demonstration purpose is ok. And now I click here text. So I have options where the text can be displayed. So if I click here, the name of the rectangle is displayed here. I can also add it to another places or maybe remove it or add. So here to display the text of name of the rectangle. Also for the trend line, if I have a trend line, let's say in the text and I want to have name right here, it is displayed. Now I have this rectangle split with percent trend line. Okay. Let's say that right now I have this rectangle here in supply, like this, extend it to here and click split. So automatically the 50% it is created and alert is placed, but I can also move this and it is calculated what percentage I move. The other thing I can also do like something like this and measure percentage of the pullbacks. So the ratio you see. So this was this rectangle split with trend line. The next is Fibonacci retracement indicator. Yes, I, I think I just show you this. This is the Fibonacci ratio that we can see inside the percentage. So this is a split, split line of the rectangle and this is a split of non-extended rectangle to see the percentage of the pullbacks. Maybe like this, if I do it like this and then go to here 
I see that this is around 50% from here to here. Next is a compression tool. Maybe you are not so familiar with this compression price action, but anyway, I can show you. Let's just clean a chart a little bit. Let's say that you have a compression right here. And you click CP, you get this compression price action zone. You can then place alert. Okay, yes, and also the flat trend line button. I will show in the same point. Let's say that I want to have here some trend line, but it is not a horizontal totally. I can click here flat, and now this line is flat. I can increase the width, maybe a color. And this is a this flat button here. So the next function is chart synchronization or chart sync object function. Here I have two charts of euro dollar. If I want to let's say sync this line right here, I just go here button sync and this trend line is synced. I can move here let's say higher time frame, maybe even more. And now I can see where I'm operating at. You know, see here. This is the same for uh, the, let's say, uh, the rectangles. If I create one rectangle, place it right here. Maybe now click sync. So if one, uh, let's say, I want to trade this supply right here, and maybe. On this M30 time frame, I see this a good supply, but here in the 4 hour, I see this is way too much down to sell. And this is how I can help myself with this chart synchronization. So, doing analysis on two time frames at once. So, extend it like this. And if I remove it, also it is removed. Now it is this multiple time frame analysis with nested zones. And let's say that I have here now this rectangle. I have here these bands. So if I click these bands right here and go to higher time frame, these uh, lines, the upper and the lower edge of the rectangle, now I can do a more specialized analysis right here within that I know that there is a higher time frame. So if I switch back, if I go maybe even lower, I can see these edges of rectangle and doing m this analysis with multiple rectangles. Also I can extend and also here I have for extended I have this band function. So you see, now I see the lower time frame inside the higher time frame. So these bands are used for multiple time frame analysis to not cover one rectangle after another. Now I have this auto scale time frame visibility for new created rectangle. That means that option, let me just do it like this. If I go to here, one important function that I can say time frame visibility for new created uh, rectangles and I have switched to this one visibility for current and lower time frames that now means if I draw a rectangle in M15 right here and if I go down down the time frame I can see but if I go above I don't see anymore because I draw this on the lower time frame 16 object time frame visibility so we have three buttons lower time frame middle time frame and higher time frame let's go here to details 
to see this uh, demonstration. So each of these buttons you see I click here on middle time frame and this rectangle has been assigned these three time frames. We can also adjust we can also adjust uh, for visibility so for which time frame for which of these buttons will be assigned to the rectangle. The next interesting function is navigate to rectangle origin position. So this add button maybe in the supply and I have this extended like this but for some reason I go to a much lower time frame and now I don't want to scroll left I just click this add button here and I'm instantly here where there is an origin of this rectangle displayed. So I quickly can switch to lower time frames and find the zones. So one more time I'm here in much lower time frame but this rectangle above is selected and when I click this add button I'm instantly right here. This is also useful for uh, trend lines. Let's say that I have here some trend line with origin right here and I'm let's say in lower time frame but the trend line is selected. I click this add button and I'm instantly right here. So next is horizontal break line or time machine. This one is also very interesting. Let's say that uh, I am draw here some horizontal line. I have this now selected and now I am interested where this high is broken right here in this zone. I can also draw this zone like this to mark it. And now let's I just have selected this horizontal line go to M1 I can now click this break line and you see I am right here where this line is broken by the price. So if I zoom out you see here. So this horizontal line is first time left broken right here. So now I can see the reaction zone of this spike right here. This is this break line or time machine. The next function is history button and dashboard link. So this history button right here it is this one history and it show me the last time of the alert. So if I go here let's say draw one rectangle and click alert. So when the alert is triggered here I have the history. So the last alert of this chart. This is this history button right here. The next is this D button so like I said the dashboard link. So if I click this one I go to the another tool technical analysis dashboard that is free tool and I have all the extended rectangles and trend lines listed right here. So if I go back and draw a little bit more uh, rectangles extend them like this, place some alerts like this and if I now go to here button D I already see all these three rectangles with the pip distance, name and uh, like I said here history alerts and so on. The 20 function is the rename button so name the zones from the suggested list. So let's see what is this. Let's go here and click this rename. I get a list of uh, possible names to rename uh, this rectangle. If I click let's say this uh, fresh zone this rectangle have now name uh, fresh zone right here. I can also change this list 
do, go to indicators and settings and here I can have the names so let's say that uh, name 1 I type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 test click OK and now if I click here rename I have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 test and this is it also for this one I can rename I can also rename the trend lines so maybe extend the trend line rename it 1, 2, 3, 5 tests it is right here it is also for non-extended rectangles like this extend show name here and rename to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 test it also show me the time frame where I rename this the next function is time frame colors for new created uh, objects this one 21 function so I have this now indicator lists go here and I have this uh, variable set to true and you see each time frame have its own color for rectangle or for the lines let's now go higher to h4 create one rectangle it is a red color also line red color if I go to h1 the rectangle will be blue if I go to m30 rectangle will be green and so on so the colors can be set for each time frame for each object type like this next function is click to create supply demand zone so if I go to the chart enable this click SD button and if I now click to a candle like this it creates me extended rectangle and the zone also here if I click on this candle I have like this like this and then maybe click this one like this the last function are hotkeys to draw support and resistance levels and supply and demand zones so if I click this candle right here I have here this hotkeys displayed and click S will create me a supply level if I let's say click on this candle right here and click maybe H for high the trend line is created here L for low and open close you know like this and here if I click to this candle here I can click D for demand and maybe O for open C for close and so on so very quickly I can draw support and resistance levels and supply and demand levels so this is the end of this video I go from 1 to 23 functions shortly describe it but if I click here maybe to details I get to the precise manuals with a special video supported for each function and this is the same for all these functions they have here details to click and to see the special video and manuals for this function Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss the next video and I wish you happy trading. Have a nice day and bye bye.